What is your best one time my dad? Story? I'm a Bengali. And as all good Bengalis. We went to see tigers in North Bengal. Spoiler alert. No tigers. After one pretty disappointing day of missing two elephant herds. And seeing no wild cat. Much less a tiger. We stop at a dried up riverbed. We are fine tired. The sun is setting. The peacocks are screaming. The usual. Suddenly. We hear a growl. Monkeys are going nuts. The telltale sign of a tiger nearby. The guide tells us to rush to our jeeps. We oblige. But just before boarding. I see my dad smirking. Hard. After an hour of waiting. We see no tigers and head home. The next morning. While everyone is freaking out over the growl. Dad pulls me aside. And says that it was a burp. A fucking burp. So I can proudly say that once my dad burped so hard the jungle thought it was a tiger. One time my dad waited till my three siblings and I had gone to bed on Christmas Eve. Then he shouted I don't care who you are fat man. Get that sled off my roof. We were all up and telling dad not to yell at Santa. My dad was a fireman and picked me up from school in a fire engine once. My dad was also a fireman. And we kind of took it for granted. All the other kids thought it was awesome. But we were kind of used to it I suppose. He treated it like a job. And we did too. Until we went on a family vacation. And saw a vehicle overturn ahead of us in a terrible accident. Watching my father spring into action and quickly take control and begin rescuing the family made me look at him in an entirely different way. Afterwards. He got in our car. And we continued our vacation. He said. I think they are going to be alright. And that was that. But we knew. Dad was a badass. One day. My dad answered the door in his underwear at 8am. The salesman was obviously weirded out. After he left. My mom was mortified and asked why he did that. My dad said. If these people don't want a show. They shouldn't come for the matinee. Apostrophe. I would do it. Just as a show of dominance. Whether you will look at my poorly concealed junk, or you will get the fuck off my porch and peddle your wares elsewhere. One time we went to Universal Studios and my dad took me on the Hulk roller coaster, even though he knew it would make him sick. I was afraid of coasters at that point and he sacrificed himself, because he knew I would never go on the ride without him. When we got off his face was completely colorless and his stomach was done working correctly for the rest of the day. But I loved the roller coaster. Did you get to watch that one episode of the Incredible Hulk on repeat while you waited in line for 2 hours? Cause I did. It was pretty great. NSFW I didn't see my dad much. He lived 80 miles away and was getting his life together. I tried to see him once a month for a weekend. I would bring my homework and spend a few days with him. I'm sitting at his computer while he's watching TV in the same room. And he turns to me and asks if I want to see something. He retrieves a cardboard box from his closet and sets it only lap. And I open it. Staring at me in the face is a 15 foot giant jerthy purple dildo. I look up to him with a confused expression. And he laughs out with a Cheshire grin. I'm going to make a lamp out of it. We laugh about it for the rest of the weekend. Making dumb jokes. It was fun. But soon I leave for home. And I forget about the jokes and the darn. I return a month later and opened the door to his apartment to see that all of the walls had a faint purple hue. Looking down, I see this giant glowing purple dick suction cup to my dad's coffee table. I drop my bag slack jawed as he steps up behind me and claps twice and the lamp turns off. My dad made a dick lamp and them gave it the clap. One time, my older brother and I were helping my dad cut down some trees in the backyard in the chainsaw kind of stuck. And my dad yanked it out a little too hard and hit my brother's leg. We all froze and looked at his jeans. Which had four or so perfectly spaced holes. But no blood. He had managed to hit my brother's pants. But didn't get in far enough to hit flesh. The next words out of his mouth were pretty obvious. Don't tell your mother. And we still haven't 20 plus years later. One time. Just before I graduated high school. My dad sat me down to have a serious conversation about socializing in college. It turned into him telling me a bunch of crazy party stories and suggesting that the best way to make friends is to own a blender with a 100 foot extension cord. 
because his friends would go outside to play basketball or whatever and he'd bring his blender out with them and make margaritas. We met so many girls because of that blender. People like the guy with the blender. My dad is super serious and straight laced most of the time. It totally caught me off guard. That sounds like my dad. Except he went and made himself a bar. One time. I asked my dad to rent the notebook for me from the good old family video up the street. He rented Nacho Libre because he could only remember it started with a Ren. One time my dad literally took candy from a baby. A two year old held up a Lada Pop and my dad assumed the kid was giving it to him. After taking it and walking away, he realized the toddler probably just wanted to show it to him. Sounds like Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. One time my dad took my brother's walkie talkie and had us and about 10 kids in the neighborhood convinced that we had picked up a signal from a plane that was crashing towards the earth. We were running up and down the streets for an hour with our eyes on the sky listening as the pilot tried to reach someone for help. Dad's windows were open, so we eventually caught onto the heinous laughter echoing between the houses after every mayday. One time my dad set my mom on fire. This was about 2 years ago. We were camping and were having trouble getting a fire started. My dad remembered that he had a container of flame accelerant in the trailer. I think it was lighter fluid or something. Anyways. He squirted some of it into the fire pit and we got it going. A little bit later. He decided it would be a really great idea to just use up the rest of the accelerant. So he pours it on the fire. Not the wood. Like before. Flames. So the bottle obviously starts on fire as well. And my dad freaks out and throws it on the ground and then tries to stomp on it to put it out. Which led to a stream of flames and fluid shooting out from the bottle and landing right on my mom's leg. It only burned for about 5 seconds and I kept yelling stop drop and roll at her, which she, of course, did not do and tried to hold my laughter in until my mother was no longer ablaze. My dad isn't in charge of starting fires anymore. Me doesn't allow the good fireworks, but Indiana does. So every June my dad would drive across the border and pick up a trunk full. One rather inebriated 4th of July, he reaches in the back, pulls out what appears to be an oversized confetti popper and aims it at the tree before pulling the trigger. It was not a party popper, it was his emergency flare. It got stuck towards the top of the tree and turned the whole neighborhood orange. The cops in my hometown wouldn't really turn out for reports of the good fireworks unless someone lit a car on fire or something. But they will definitely turn out en masse for an emergency flare. Dad went from drunk to drill sergeant in about 2 seconds. Somehow, we managed to shove the entire stock of the good fireworks into the garage and use snow shovels to push the husks of the used ones into the parking lot across the street. When the three police cars and the fire slash rescue truck showed up, us kids were playing with sparklers and dad was standing with his hands on his hips, scowling at the tree. Why yes, officer, some punks were across the street, lighting off roman candles and huge fountains, and they ran when one of their tricks got stuck in the tree. He was just about to call when they ran off. Don't they know that roman candles are dangerous? They colder hit one of the kids. About 5 years ago, my dad accidentally cut 3 of his fingers off in our garage with a saw. My niece was only like 5 months old at the time. So growing up, she's never seen my dad with all of his digits. Anyway, when she was about 2 and 1 half, she noticed that one of his hands was different. So, one day she asked him grandpappy, what happened to your fingers? My dad looked down at his hand all shocked and said someone stole them. Her face had the look of pure horror, and she screamed, Who stole your fingers? My dad looked at my mom and said, Grandmummy stole them. My niece ran up to my mom and started beating on her legs, searching her jeans pockets to give back her grandpapa's fingers. My dad, man. One time, my dad was sitting on the couch in our living room. Mom brought out a bag of sugar and asked him to open it. He opened it like it was a bag of Doritos. And I mean, it was everywhere. He was only wearing his shorts. So there was sugar in just about every square inch of his visible hair as well as all over our couch and carpet. Took him 4 showers in a row to get it all off. 
One time my dad made me drive 3 hours from home to visit a nature preserve. He then began taking pics of the birds there. Just one problem. The birds were plastic. Turns out the flocks had stopped migrating back to the preserve, so they put up plastic birds for tourists. The funniest part was how long it took him to listen to me telling him they were plastic. When I was 17. My crush arrived to pick me up to go hang out. He didn't come to the front door. He just honked from the driveway. So my dad got all pussy. That's not how you treat a lady. Honking is unacceptable. And didn't let me go out. He brought up that scenario repeatedly for years. As a baseline for how my dates should treat me. He hated that guy. I got married a few years later. And my husband died a few years into our relationship. A few years after he died. I was joking with my dad about the guy honking his horn and my dad looks at me and says wait. That was the same guy? Yes dad. That was the same guy. He'd never realized that I'd married the honking guy. I didn't know that he didn't know. My kids love that story. It's pretty hilarious. When the new Star Wars movies came out, we were in elementary school. My dad's company had booked the whole theater to see it on opening day, so we got to leave school early to see it. My dad dressed up as Darth Vader, full costume with helmet and lightsaber, and snuck into our classroom and came up behind us saying, kid's name, I'm your father. At the time I don't think it was possible to be more embarrassed, but now I think that was pretty hilarious of my dad to do that. One time my dad shit his jeans on the side of the road on the way to my volleyball tournament. We were running late for the tournament, so he threw the pants in the woods and had dress pants in the car. He walked around the tournament all day in a red volleyball sweatshirt and pinstripe dress pants. One time, when I was younger and embarrassed about my body and potential dirty words, my dad made a song about penises and vaginas and sang at any opportunity he could just to embarrass me. One time my dad was on a business trip and he ended up getting upgraded to first class. He ended up talking with this guy seated near him for a majority of the flight. Turned out that guy was Usher. Turned out that guy was Usher. Planes have stewards. He might have been in a movie theater. Now that I think about it, it might have been a funeral. One time my dad was riding his bike on a 3 foot tall brick wall, slipped off, hit his head on it, and got knocked out behind it for an hour or so. My grandma almost called the cops to file him missing. He also tried to see how far he could piss into a urinal, about 10 feet, before he got caught by a teacher walking into the bathroom. He also dared his best friend to throw a full milk carton at a teacher. His friend did it. That teacher was also my grandma's best friend at the time. Him and my uncle were throwing snowballs at cars passing on the highway. They hit an undercover detective. They ran back to the house and his, while my aunt didn't know they snuck back in, and she had to talk to the detective. He also stole my aunt's VW Beetle, and took it for a midnight joy ride. They got it stuck in a ditch, and had a farmer pull it out with a tractor. She just found out last year, nearly 40 years later. He really likes car horns. When we were kids he held down the horn on a country road until the horn gave out and was just squeaking trying to make noise. He recently got a new aerating trailer for his lawn mower and he was so excited about it that he did three of our neighbor's yards for fun. He also got himself a Christmas present a few years back and yelled yes thank you when he opened it. That same Christmas my mom got him a new coffee maker and he spent the entire night setting it up and making everyone coffee. He bought a motorcycle as a midlife crisis thing. He kept it a secret from my grandma for 3 years. A 50 year old man hiding things from his mom. My older brother fired an arrow almost straight up in the air. It came back down right on the peak of our shed. Sticking straight up and dead center. You could tell he was trying not to laugh while scolding us. We were having a bonfire one night and one of my brother's friends put a mountain dew can near the fire. So it heated up slowly. When it exploded it sounded like an auto went off. It sent embers 40 feet into the air and 25 feet around. After gaining our sense we could see our dad's silhouette sprinting inside the house. Because he though we were getting shot at. I've never seen him move that fast. To clarify. He was already in the house. One time my dad saw me put a rubber band around the sink small water hose thing. That I had specifically set up for him. 
but instead of saying anything he left it there and watched for the next victim. He laughed so hard when the older man we rented the basement to yelled out WTF and turned around with his shirt wet. One time I was in another room and the phone rang. I hear my dad answer the phone when a telemarketer called and they asked if he wants his duct work cleaned. He said, yes, I would love to have my ducts cleaned. Quack quack, quack quack, and then just hangs up on the guy. My dad told a telemarketer to fuck off once. The telemarketer called back, listed our address, and threatened to kill the whole family. The police escorted me home from school that day, 